Now, one of the most commonly used probability distribution functions in statistics is the normal distribution. And this looks really complicated, but it's essentially the same thing. This is a function that defines the probability that the random variable x will equal small x. The normal distribution, while it's very complicated looking, is just a function of two parameters. Mu is called the mean of the distribution. And the variance, sigma squared, is the variance of the distribution. These are the two parameters of the distribution. Everything else are, is constant. So 2 pi is a constant. E, we know, is the mathematical constant 2.72. We've got a half over here. The only thing that is going to determine the shape of this curve is going to be sigma squared, which occurs here as well as just sigma, and mu. So what do the different parameters mean? If this is the probability distribution function, where along the bottom we have different values of x, and across the side we have different values of the probability of x, well then, changing the mu is going to shift the distribution to the right and to the left. Whereas changing the value of sigma, or sigma squared, increases or decreases the spread. This is going to be clearer on the next image. The green curve is what we call the standard normal probability distribution function. It's a normal distribution where mu equals 0 and sigma squared equals 1. Here we have notation that we're going to use to define different normal curves. Because the normal curve depends on two parameters, in general, we're going to have normal curves. And the first parameter that we place here is the mu. And the second one is the sigma squared. So we might have an x variable, a random variable, and we'll use a tilde to denote that x is distributed as a normal variable, and the distribution is mu and is based on mu and sigma squared. And we'll put different values of mu and sigma squared. When x is normally distributed 0, 1, we're going to call that the standard normal distribution. And look at what the standard normal distribution is. The mean is 0. So you'll see on the curve that the center of the distribution is on x equals 0. And the standard deviation is 1, which defines how much spread there is in the curve, how much variance there is in the curve. So if we compare the standard normal to this curve over here, which is normal 0, 0 0.2, we see that it's also centered at mu at, at x equals 0. That's what we see here with the mu, the center of the distribution, the mean. But then it has a much narrower spread in comparison to the standard normal. In the case of this distribution, which is normal minus 2, 0 0.5, we see that it's slightly more narrow than the standard normal, but it's centered on x equals minus 2. The mu here is minus 2. And if we look at the last curve, it's centered on 0, but it has a really big variance, a variance of 5. So we see much more spread in this distribution. So here we see how different s selections of different parameters are going to result in probability distributions that are centered at different locations and have different amounts of spread.